Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, with Jolly Wan Ru. Today we're going to talk about upstream and downstream monopolies. So here's the story. We have two companies, Company U and Company D. They're both monopolies. Company U is going to produce product X and sell X to Company D. Company D is going to use X as an input to produce product Y and sell product Y to the general consumers. And we're going to solve for the profit maximizing quantity and price for both company U and company D. So here's a setup. Company U produces X and the marginal cost of producing X is equal to C dollars and company U is going to charge K dollars for each unit of X it sells to company D. Now company D is going to use X to make Y and the ratio is one to one. So for each unit of X, company D can produce one unit of Y. And company D is going to charge product Y according to the inverse demand function. So price is a function of output Y and that is equal to A minus BY. So we're going to solve this problem. We will use backward induction, meaning we're going to solve for the problem for company D first, and then we'll go back to solve for the problem of company U. So we know revenue is equal to price times quantity, and price PY is here, A minus BY. That times Y is equal to revenue, Multiply that out, you get AY minus BY squared. And with the revenue function, we can find the marginal revenue, take the derivative of revenue with respect to quantity, then you get marginal revenue. And that is equal to A minus 2BY. Now, what is the marginal cost of company D? Well, marginal cost is exactly equal to K because company U charges K dollars for each unit that they produce. So that is the marginal cost for company D. Now we set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So A minus 2BY is equal to K. So you can solve for Y star, that's the optimal quantity for company D. Y star is equal to A minus K over 2B. So you solve for this equation, that's the quantity that company D will produce. So company D is going to say, you gave me a price of your input um, X, K, that's a K dollars, and that is a quantity I'm going to produce. Now we have solved for the problem for company D. We're going to go back to solve for the upstream monopolies problem, company U. So company U says, oh, uh, because the ratio of X and Y is one to one, so I see that company D is going to produce Y star, so I am going to produce that quantity too. So my x is exactly equal to y, which is equal to a minus k over 2b. So remember, k is the price that company U is going to charge company D for their input x. So k is really the price of the input x. k, you can write k as a function of the quantity x that company U is going to produce. So K is equal to A minus 2BX, and I get this from here. And notice that this is the inverse demand function for company U, because remember, K is the price we're going to charge, so that's the price of X. So knowing that, we are able to find a revenue function for company U. Revenue is price times quantity. What is my price? My price is K. So K times X, that will be the revenue. But then I also know K is equal to A minus 2BX. So I just multiply that out. So my revenue function is equal to AX minus 2BX squared. Now I have the revenue function for company U. I can find the marginal revenue for company U. So marginal revenue is the derivative of revenue with respect to quantity X. So that will be equal to A minus 4bx. So take down the 2, 2 times 2 is 4, a minus 4bx. That is my marginal revenue for company U. What is the marginal cost? It is given in the question. Marginal cost is C. 
So I'm going to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost for company U to maximize my profit. So that means A minus 4BX is equal to C right here. And therefore, I can find my optimal quantity X star here. Solving for this equation, X star is equal to A minus C over 4B. So I know the optimal quantity that company U is going to produce. And I also know that X star is equal to Y star. So my Y star is also equal to A minus C over 4B. Now you might also want to know what K is equal to. We know that previously K is equal to A minus 2BX. But then we have solved for X already. X is A minus C over 4B. So we just rewrite our equation for K. And then we're going to plug in this A minus C over 4B for X. Plug it in. And after you calculate that, you will find that K is equal to A plus C over 2. So that is the price that company U will charge company D for each unit of input. Then what is the final price for our product that consumers purchase? So we know P, from the beginning we know PY is equal to A minus BY, so that's A minus BY, and we have solved for Y star, so just plug that in here, and after you calculate that, you will find the price P star is equal to 3 quarters of A plus a quarter of C. So the final solution is this. X star is equal to Y star is equal to A minus C over 4B. That is the quantity that both companies produce. And the price that company U will charge company D, that's price K star, and that is equal to A plus C over 2. And finally, the price that company D will charge the consumer will be equal to 3 quarters of A plus a quarter of C. Now you might be wondering what happens if there's a merge between company U and company D. Suppose the two companies merge and now we have only one monopoly. Then I'm going to give you the bottom line first. The equilibrium quantity is going to go up and the equilibrium price is going to go down. And I'm going to explain why. So suppose the two companies merge, we still face exactly the same inverse demand function PY is equal to A minus BY. And our marginal cost is only C because there's no transaction between the two companies. We only have one company now. So that's the marginal cost. And with the inverse demand function, we can calculate the revenue. Revenue is equal to price times quantity. And therefore, that will be AY minus BY squared. And with the revenue function, we can find the marginal revenue by taking the derivative of the revenue with respect to quantity. So our marginal revenue is equal to A minus 2BY. Setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost, we have A minus 2BY is equal to C. Now you can calculate the optimal quantity Y star is equal to A minus C over 2B. Notice that your A is greater than C because we cannot produce a negative quantity. So after you find the quantity, you can go back to find the optimal price using the inverse demand function here. So A minus B Y is equal to A minus B times your Y star here, plug it in. Then you'll be able to find that the price is equal to A plus C over 2. So now recall that before the merge, our equilibrium quantity, yb star b stands for before. So our equilibrium quantity was a minus c over 4b, and our equilibrium price was 3a plus c over 4. And after the merge, we just calculated that equilibrium quantity is a minus c over 2b, and equilibrium price is a plus c over 2, and for algebraic reason, you can rewrite that as 2a plus 2c over 4. So we're going to compare before and after quantity. Notice that the after quantity is greater than before quantity. Why is that? Because your after quantity is 
twice as much as the quantity before because a minus c over 2b is twice as much as a minus c over 4b. What about the price? The price will become lower. I want you to verify this yourself. Your price before is equal to price after plus a minus c over 4. And notice that your a is greater than c. So you are adding something positive and that is equal to the price before. And this is why after the merge we see the quality goes up and the price goes down. You'll be asking why is that? Well, before the merge we had two companies and each company is a monopoly and each of them was trying to have a markup to maximize their profit. And now the two companies merge as one, so we only have one markup instead of two. That's the reason why the price goes down and the quantity goes up. So this is a upstream and downstream monopolies. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.